What's up guys, it's Ryan with AppCounter.com and I've got the April 1st iPhone application to take a look at for the App Calendar. Um, today's video is actually going to be an update video and not a full on review. On January 5th, 2010, we actually reviewed an application called TapForms. What TapForms is, is pretty much an application to save, it's a database for, for any information, for your credit cards, for your bank accounts, for pictures, for audio um, memos for anything. Pretty much anything you want to save, you can do it within TapForms. Um, since then, since that first review, TapForms has went through a very um, a very big update, and this video is going to cover some of those features. So again, instead of being kind of redundant and covering the same features that I did in the original video, we're just going to link the original video in the description here. So if you want to see the basic overview or the basic review of TapForms, Go ahead and check out the link. Again, this is just going to cover the feature upgrades. So first off, you may notice that it has a brand new icon as well as a new load screen. Um, also, probably one of my favorite things in um, TapForms database is the um, integration with Text Expander. What Text Expander is is basically a, a Mac application that takes little snippets of text and it expands them. So it's a quick way of typing. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you those little snippets. Now first off, if you have a copy of Text Expander, you can actually open up this um, and do as many different shortcuts as you want. But if you don't have Text Expander, what, what the developers of TapForms have done is they've put a few snippets in here that pretty much anybody can use right now. So what we're going to do is just show you a demonstration. First off, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to type in TYVM and that's going to stand for thank you very much and after I type in that full um, snippet it's actually going to extend it so I've typed in TYV I'm going to type in M right here and there it just extended it to thank you very much um, another text expander snippet is the date snippet and it's just D followed by the word date and again it's going to expand into the today's date um, there's a couple SMS ones SMS 1 I'm running late, be there soon. So as you can see, um, it's already saving a ton of time. Um, SMS 2, traffic is terrible, I'll be late, sorry. We've got SMS 3, I forgot all about our appointment, can we reschedule? So there's a few snippets that are in there. There's, there's quite a few more that are already plugged into here. But again, if you have text expander, you can kind of unlock it and, and do as many uh, different text snippets as you can. Very neat feature of the new TapForms database. Um, the next feature that we're going to cover, I actually brought my iPhone um, or my iPod Touch, is the beaming function. Um, TapForms database now integrates with a, or now has a beaming function in it, where I can actually beam records here. And um, let me actually show you exactly what I did here. So let me go to cancel. I, I, I Probably some of that was off the screen here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, this little icon up here at the top left. And this is going to put my iPhone, this is my iPhone here, into receive mode. And then I'm going to uh, tap on this share while I actually got to select the record. So I'm going to tap on this phone record. And I'm going to select, select this share up here and select beam record. What this is going to do um, is going to search for my iPhone right now. And it's trying to connect to my iPhone. Once it establishes a connection, it's going to um, send a confirmation on the receiving phone. Oops, sorry, I just bumped the camera there. It says uh, Ryan Wade's IP wants to um, beam beam form phone to you. Do you accept? I can either choose to no or yes. So I'm going to choose yes. This is going to give me a confirmation now on this phone. Beam success. Phone was beamed to Ryan Wade's phone. And now if you look here, the same exact phone or the same exact form that is on this field is now beamed to my iPhone. Very cool feature of the brand new um, tap or the updated TapForms database. The next um, new update is the is the location. The location was in the I believe it was in the existing tap forms, but now they added a more accurate location view as well as the drag and drop. So I've actually uh, put a little a little um, pin on my favorite beach bar down here in St. Petersburg and now within um, the new tap forms allows the drag and drop so drag and dropping of the pin um, and then again more um, accurate maps let's see another um, addition to the 
to the updated tap forms is overall UI. The overall UI is a lot cleaner as well as in the tool setting. There's some icons here. There's just been a few, um, a few um, slight details or slight modifications to the UI just to make it a, a really, really clean. Now before, um, tap forms was a very, very clean application, but again, just the overall UI improvements just made it a lot smoother. Um, and then the last thing, there is uh, brand new languages. I believe Korean and Hebrew are the newest languages in here, and they seem to be updating their languages all the time. So there's, let's see, there's five, ten different languages in here right now. So um, tons of languages in here. And um, that's pretty much it for today's um, update video on Tapform's database. Guys, um, like I said in the first video, this application is extremely extensive. If you want to save information for anything, um, check out this application. It's a great application. Um, there's tons and tons of information in, in both of those videos. The one that I did on January 5th and the one that I did on today, I didn't cover near all the features. I mean, there's so many different features, including importing and exporting. Um, there's the features to backup and restore this application. There's so many features, more features than I could cover in a single video. So check out the application, guys. The developer's website is tapforms.com. They've got a great, um, a great database or a great resource of information, including screen captures, a lot of different videos that shows you in detail how to use this application. So I hope you enjoyed that review or that update video of Tapforms database, guys. Remember to check out the original um, review in the in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you all have a great day.